I remember, I think 2012 or so, I've been visiting once some Amas Ashram, not far from here in Kerala in India. And it struck me, there was like a, where well, you do the dishes, someone wrote, we can get very far without knowing where we're going. Oh. I didn't know where I'm going, certainly. To the mind, it looks like unknown territory. Sometimes in Christianity, it's spoken about the darkness or even in the Tao Te Ching. Or nothingness. To the mind, it looks dark or like nothing. Like there is when there is no memory, no past and no future, it looks like there is nothing to refer to, but the mind comes, springs from the intelligence of consciousness. So consciousness, which is apparently empty, knows, we know. It's more this intuitive knowing in our hearts. It's very quiet usually much more quiet than the noise of the conditioned mind. There is this knowing, this awareness within our own hearts. Which is the peace that passes understanding. And it's like uh, to apply the teachings that we are this aware presence, this loving presence in a way is to, to shift from living based on memory to living based on this knowing in our hearts. Mind might freak out here and then. It's like, but I need to know what's next. Give me something to hold on to so I feel safe. It might say. But reality, truth, is always new, always fresh, always emergent in the moment, and brings into this moment, into this very now, always exactly what we need. Maybe not what we want, but what we need. There is no lack, no need to hoard, to hold on to, to memorize in reality, because it's full of everything that we could ever memorize. There is nothing which we don't know as consciousness, including, very important, our true nature. 
in reality we never forgot who or what we are. So it's a bit of a bumpy road, a bit of a, ooh, I'm, I'm asking to let go of the safety net. Maybe not all at once, but it's something to play with, to see, oh. Can I trust myself? just by diving into that silent awareness that I am in any moment and living spontaneously, freely, joyfully from that. I mean, maybe sadly, maybe there is something to cry about and I will cry spontaneously. There is no agenda. But even if I will cry spontaneously, sadly, I'll be happy. <laughs> because the tears, even when I'm sad, will be filled with this peace that passes understanding, that peace of myself, that is always not only in the background, but also within all of my experience. It is actually my, all of my experience is actually made out of it. That is non-duality. 